Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 27th of November. I'm James Spann going on the holiday schedule today. So just one video per day through the uh, Thanksgiving weekend. We go back to the two-a-day schedule Monday of next week. And it is going to be windy and cold on this Thanksgiving Eve after some snow early this morning. Most of you slept through it. Uh, let's take a look at the big picture this morning. You can see that big, big trough moving through the eastern United States. And uh, that is kicking up quite a fuss not exactly good news for the travelers over the eastern United States. Uh, there's a peak at the radar that was at uh, 440 this morning. And at that point, snow is coming down. Some pretty good snow from Auburn and Opelika up through much of uh, Chambers County, including Lafayette up to Roanoke. And uh, it seems like some of the heavier snow this morning came down in Chambers, Randolph, and Cleburne counties of East Alabama. That was a, an, an image captured uh, as the snow is coming down at Ranburn, which is in Cleburne County, just south of Interstate 20. And uh, again, that's uh, it's amazing to see that much snow in Alabama so early in the season. Of course, as expected, the, the accumulation was on grass. Now, these were temperatures at 4 o'clock this morning. And at that point, we were near freezing for Coleman and Haleyville, Birmingham at 36. Uh, but once those numbers go down to freezing, at daybreak, any standing water, you know, there could be a little patchy ice on the bridges, which is what we were concerned about. We had the big soaking with uh, some three-inch rains around the state and uh, still some water kind of hanging around. So, uh, But other than that, we'll just be windy and cold today with returning sunshine. Around the nation, very cold uh, air coming down the pike. Temperatures around zero over parts of the upper Midwest. And it's going to be very, very cold here early tomorrow morning to start the day. Thanksgiving will be around 20, and the colder pockets will be in the teens. There's a look at the uh, wind field across the uh, state this morning. That was captured at 430. And uh, you can see that uh, we've got those higher winds right across Alabama. And again, the winds today will be gusting probably 15 to 25 miles an hour. All right, travelers. Uh, we got winter weather advisories beginning in the uh, mountains of North Carolina and East Tennessee. The Great Smokies getting some good snow from this thing. Then up through uh, West Virginia, Snowshoe Mountain will be buried. And then northern New England, upstate New York, they're going to see some good snow from this. And, of course, on the immediate coast, you've got wind and rain. Uh, and, again, that inevitably will lead to airport delays. So we've talked about this for days. Now, the county's in dark blue near the Gulf Coast. That's a hard freeze warning where they have uh, yet to see temperatures this cold this season. That would include, you know, Mobile and um, Slidell, Louisiana, places like that, uh, long and just north of Interstate 10. This is the uh, snow uh, expectations today. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow. And if you're looking for uh, the white stuff, that's where you'll find it. Look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the uh, 06E run valid today at noon at 500 millibars. There's your trough. Down below that, goodness, what a mess. 990 millibar low at Boston. Wind and rain for the uh, eastern seaboard and interior sections getting snow on this biggest travel day of the year. But the western two-thirds of the nation, quiet. Around here, they're going to be sunny, windy, and cold. Uh, we'll have a hard time getting out of the mid-30s today. Goodness, and those winds will keep the wind chill index below freezing all day long. Tomorrow for Thanksgiving Day, the wind won't be as bad. That's the good news. But again, we start the day around 20. Colder places will be in the teens. But the high should be in the mid-40s as we start a warming trend. Here's Black Friday. Again, Friday morning is going to be cold with mid-20s for those pre-dawn shoppers. But we should warm up into the middle 50s Friday afternoon. That, that'll feel good. This is Saturday as we start the weekend. No change. We're looking good there. Great day for the Iron Bowl. Mid-50s at kickoff in Auburn. The sky will be sunny. And here's Sunday. Uh, we're still dry. Sunday's high should be in the upper 50s. Go to Monday, and you see energy coming down the pike. A pretty good little short wave. And down below that, that squeezes out some rain on Monday. And we've seen kind of variations of this. But 
The latest run here suggesting a chance of rain on Monday. Probably not a big rain event, but clearly some chance of rain. And then on Tuesday of next week, we go dry. And there's no cold air involved. Uh, the high should be probably in the upper 50s. And this is Wednesday, a week from today. Weather still looks uh, dry and pleasant. A couple of peaks later on. This is December 8th. Looks kind of wet with a cold front coming in. And December 12th, the end of the forecast, that would be cool and dry, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Again, now we're on the one-a-day schedule, the holiday schedule, so the next video sometime tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving Eve, and God bless.